unexpected consequences for HMP Studios. Contents of the documents expose an ongoing contentious collaboration with Galilei, the company responsible for the expensive high-tech car featured in the studio's latest blockbuster, CyberDriver. The emails reveal that a studio executive referred to the car as a useless lemon and threatened legal action against the space company. There was good news for HMP Studios, however. Following the hack, interest around the movie spiked, making CyberDriver the surprise hit of the year. Police say that the studio has yet to press charges against the hacker group. We'll keep you posted. Hmm. Let's play Ghost, Let's play in, the ghost in the Bank Machine again. Can you guys cross-reference the directions they're pointing? You... Well, yes and no. It's a pretty wide search zone. But unless you want to spend all day climbing, you should probably look for another one. All right. This Stingray business, it's looking like Graystrom. Oh, that's huge. A defense contractor student from U.S. citizens? That's what it looks like, yeah. I want to understand this thing better. I'm not sure we've got anything we can stick on him yet. That's the third Stingray. Now can you find where the data's going? Just a sec, and looks like Coit Tower. Really? Hey man, don't hate the triangulator. Hate the triangulation. No, it's just so artsy. San Francisco, my friend. You figure out what the Grace was up to? Mass data theft. Thing is, this is their test run. How terribly tragic. Tower. I can see Graystrom's hardware up at the top. Uh, why do all this run Coit Tower? Seems like a risky op with all the slack-jawed tourists shambling around. Graystrom's stealing data from the tourists. So, given one of the best views in the city, they're gonna be distracted. Oh, high traffic area. Everybody's got their phones up. <laughs> You're right. I'm not sure my drone's gonna have the range. 
Gonna have to find a way to get some height. You got the who and the why yet? Looks like Graystrom has launched a mass data theft operation, but this is just a test run. They're planning to go wide with it if it all goes well here. Too bad it's not gonna go well. How are you gonna find them? This one has a break from trail I can follow. Nice. Where's he go? Hmm. Looks like Graystrom set up a warehouse out by the piers. You want to bet I can find some shady shit in there? Definitely some shady shit in there. He's here. Okay, that'd be. And Graystrom's little experiment has failed, courtesy of dead sex.
Tell me you fucked up their hardware? I left an expensive little present in their system, and they're going to pay for it. Damn, you sound like Jimmy Siska. Hell yeah. We've got a lead coming in from one of our followers. Check it out. People afraid to blow whistles. DedSec thrives when people tell the truth. He's claiming they tried to sabotage his marriage, even froze his assets. I'm gonna check out his house, see if there's any truth to his claims. You should probably pay his bank a visit, too. See if Graystrom ever contacted them. Yo, Wrench. Yo, Em. Damn, man, I hope you kept the receipts. Hey, yo, check out this fuck stick. So tell us about Home 2.0. <laughs> Home systems are completely bulletproof. Your privacy is absolutely secure. Bold claim, Steven. Aren't you worried hacker groups will see that as a challenge? Well, say what you mean, truly. Dead sec. Now, if they want to go up against us, I invite them to try. <laughs> Home 2.0 is an OS with teeth. Yo, he called us out by name? Yep. He don't know who he fucking with. It's on now. That's why I've been trying to crack 2.0. There's just one teeny little problem. What? Here, pull this. Stand back. Great. Chip! It's a little... Oh, hard to get out. Look, there's no point in trying to use the previous version's hardware to jack the new OS. Why? Because they changed the ports. Following the capital sky to forced obsolescence. But luckily, a little birdie told me that 2.0 should be packing a farm fresh zero day. Ooh, now that might just be a shame. Damn right. And that is why you, my friend, are going to hijack me a 2.0 pre-order shipment before some do-gooder white hat tells home how to cock block us. Got a weird relationship with technology. You know that, right? He didn't mean it. Oh, you gotta love the surveillance thing. It's like exhibitionism, only you're paying people to look at your junk. Do you put on little shows for him? Oh, yeah. Puppet shows. Why doesn't that surprise me? I'm in tune with my skill set. And by puppet shows, I mean meat puppet shows. Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay, I'm at Holmes Distribution Center. Great. Okay, uh, so take a look around for a computer, one of those old crap box ones. Now, Holmes stores their schedules based on number plate destination combinations, like some kind of barely literate moron. If that moron was, you know, a company. <laughs> Good to know. I'll see what I can find. I find a way to jump from here. Yeah. I see that, like. Okay, come here. This is to jump like that. Yeah. Okay. This is. Yeah, I need. This is there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
okay, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. They come here. Okay, open the door. And How many pay for me? Yeah, okay, let's be let's be Where are you? Got it. Got it. I got the list. Okay, great. So now all you have to do is stroll over to the distribution center and match the number plate of one of their trucks to the one that's headed downtown. Man, this is so analog. I told you, Luddites. Okay, motherfucker. Where's the house? Yes, Steve. Oh, this tone. This is so true. Not yet? Please? Okay, yeah, the thing is like small. Shipment and I'm inbound. I already know what to
Tell me I got something good. Nope. Crash. Nope. Crash. Crash. Oh. Crash. Well, you got the goods. Is it actually good? It might be evil. It might be evil. I don't know. This is home we're talking about. All right, well, I will get this little fucker prepped while you go get us some caffeine. Uh, wait, you want me to get you two coffee? He's a robot. I want you to get us caffeine. He'll take a decaf. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay, we're here and um, this is this destination okay. Yes, thank you for enjoy support me. Peace salam alaikum. See ya and thanks. Support me, subscribe, please. You need that. I swear. Hey dude, where you at? Oh. We can use a hand at the hackerspace. Okay. These home toys are 2.0 for a reason. is as good as mine. Think they really worship aliens and all that? If they do, is that so strange? Any god, unless we're talking nature gods or something like that, aren't they all technically aliens? The main difference is this religion is being shaped in real time, so it's easier to call bullshit. So you're an atheist? No. no. I think we're missing something. The world's yeah. way too beautiful to be a cosmic accident. It's got a lot of ugly, too. Yeah, that's on us. Well, in this case, New Dawn. Okay. Mom's got a pretty good thing going here. They hype the product, address all of the concerns of the early adopters, then hold back on making enough units to meet demand. Boom. Instant 
have to have. You gotta bet those early adopters have some horror stories, though. Oh, that's what's so beautiful. There's a clause in the first release of the software stating it's a beta, and it's sold as is. Yeah. They've been able to downplay any negative press by making whistleblowers look foolish. You admire what they're doing? Only individual actions are subject to morality, Marcus. You can admire the machinery without approving of its purpose. Yeah, thanks. Let's talk with the weird man. Have weird. Man, Satara hates it when I fuck with Josh, knows. but he makes it too easy sometimes. <laughs> I told him that New Dawn was looking to brainwash socially awkward hackers into their secret army. A mindless drone army to overthrow the government. It's got him all freaked out. That's cold. Yeah, yeah, I know, but you should have seen his face. I wouldn't do it if you didn't make a sort of warning. Okay, now tell him I made it up. Promise. Okay. Oh, you gotta love the surveillance state. It's like exhibitionism, only you're paying people to look at your junk. Do you put on little shows for them? Oh, yeah. Uh, Puppet shows. Why doesn't that surprise me? I'm in tune with my skill set. And by puppet shows, I mean meat puppet shows. Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay, this is the last one we're talking about. Ratio. Know anything about New Dawn? We protested them back in Chicago. We were just trolling. Dead sec masks and signs, making a lot of noise, but nothing too bad. They sent out this little Colonel Sanders looking motherfucker to break us up. Said we were on private property and he was gonna bring out the dogs if we wouldn't leave. Did you call his bluff? Yep, but then he brought out the dogs. Bunch of pit bulls. We got the fuck out of there. Never ran so fast in my life. But fuck that. Yep. Fuck that. Yeah. I've been digging a bit deeper into the studio's data sharing deal with Bloom, and the thing is, the studio let them have some of the user data, but Bloom's accessing more of it without the studio's knowledge. And the studio hasn't noticed? No, because the studio is using CTOS infrastructure. It's getting grabbed there. Josh must be right. Bloom's using it to improve their facial recognition with emotion mapping. Combine that with profiler data, what have they got? Some scary predictive algo in the works. Yeah. That's the way I see it too. Yeah, peace and love. I will go sleep now. See ya. Uh, support me, please. Anything I want. Thank you. Yeah. Subscribe, like, comment, anything. Support here. Peace and love. Salam alaikum. Habibi, everyone. Hello.